Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining me. Be Fit for Christ Tummy Testimony 2023. 500 crunches, 25 scriptures we're going to review and hopefully memorize and learn and hide in our heart and three psalms. Uh, today I just wanted to just give a good shout out to Buffy, my longtime skating buddy. We go, we go way back and uh, anyways, I just hope she's watching today. I'm so grateful for your friendship, Buffy. Uh, good to reconnect with you. Uh, today, I want to ask you, do you need a reset button for the new year? I used to think I wish there was a reset button. I wish there was uh, a way I could just have a fresh start for myself with no regrets, no bad memories, no lingering consequences from my poor choices I made. Could I have a do-over, please, I would ask God. But then I would remember, you know, there are plenty of good life experiences for me as well, so I'm not sure I want to wipe out everything. So I found the answer when I chose Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I received the life reset button. That is the lifelong reset option. It is an option, and you have to choose it for yourself. So when Christ uh, comes in, He's with you throughout the whole process. It's a lifelong journey with him. God's right there with us, encouraging us and helping us every step of the way. We remain in the process the rest of our life. And then on our final breath, uh, it takes us into that truly new life. Will you choose to reset your spiritual life today? Um, I don't know if, you know, everybody is watching is saved and they've already had that reset button. But if you have it, I just want to pray with you real quick. Heavenly Father, I confess that Jesus is my Lord. And I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Thank you, Father. You have forgiven me all of my sins. Remove them forevermore. I thank you. I stand before you as righteousness in Christ. In Jesus' name, come into my life and just be the Lord and Savior of my life forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you got saved today and then you get to press that reset button of life. Anyways, let's get started. Woo! I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling a little slow, so I apologize for that, but I'm going to still, every day, I'm showing up, no matter what I feel like. No matter what my body tells me to not do, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm committed to be with you for six months through June 30th. We are doing this. It is day 18 already. So let's go. <clears throat> and our core scripture is uh, Corinthians. It is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Or do you not know? that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom is from God, and you are not your own. For you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit. In Psalm 118, 24, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am glad. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. For another new day. Woo. Every day is a gift. Yes, keep going. We're almost at 50, and then we're going to have our knees up just like we always do. And then we're going to have our legs straight. Keep going. And hold five, four, three, two, one. We are on week three of the scriptures. <coughs> so I'm going to review all seven of them. And then when we get to 250, we'll do our plank with Psalm 1 again. Ooh, I love that song. There's a lot of power in that. Keep going. Oh my gosh, this hurts today. I ate really bad yesterday. And boy, I woke up and I paid the price. I am not doing that again today. <laughs> I eat cookies, pizza. Oh, this is not good. And it's bright. Yeah, I can tell. My body knows the difference. That is for sure. Okay, so our first scripture is a very important salvation scripture. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have eternal life. 
Hold, two, three, four, five. John 14, six says, I am the way, and this is Jesus speaking, it's in red letters. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> Romans 3, 23. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. Somehow, no matter what we're going through, good or bad, he finds a way to turn it for good, for his good. Yeah, for his kingdom. Oh, for his... He promises that. So, that's a beautiful promise from the Lord. I love that one. Hold on. Here we go. This is 150 already. Good job. In Philippians 4, 6. And we are going to just scissor our feet today for 50. And then we're going to go out, out, out for 10. Okay? Here we go. Okay, next one is Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Ooh, that is a good one. So if you suffer from anxiety, just know that is not of the Lord, that is just a dark spirit that likes to mess with your life, and you can overcome that through the blood of Jesus. He heals us of any ailments, mm. and all those dark spirits are nothing when it's up against a believer. He says, he gives us the power and authority to trample over scorpions. Keep going. And his job. Five more. We're going to do 50 more scissors. Hold your tummies nice and tight. Bring, um, release your belly button down to the floor. Keep your back flat. Try not to arch your back at all. One more. Good job. Here we go. Scissor again for 50. And we will be halfway there. Great job. You're doing well. Don't forget to breathe. Nice job. Keep it going. We're halfway there. All right. 25 more and we will be at 250. Keep it up. Ooh, these hurt. <laughs> okay, what scripture have we done? <clears throat> Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Go ahead and hug yourself, hug your knees to your chest, and I'll find my shoe real quick. Take a couple of deep breaths. Hold it in. Release it out. Bring that oxygen in. And push out all those toxins. All right, here we go, song one. Let's go, um, oh, I forgot, Romans 12, too. Okay. All right, but let's do Psalm 1 first as we do our plank. Stay nice and flat. Here we go. All right. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor seats at, sits at the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in that law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaf shall also not wither, and every 
everything he does shall prosper. It is not so for the ungodly, but they are like the shaft the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not sin in judgment, nor sinners congregate with the righteous. For the Lord knows the path of the righteous, and the path of the sinner leads to death. All right. Good job. Romans 12, 2 is, do not be conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that which is, so that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Woo! All right, we're going to do little swimmers today. Oh, instead of mountain climbers. Are you ready? Okay, so we're at 300. We're going to do 50 of these. And all you do is you pretend you're swimming. Little swimmers. Arms are moving up and down. Legs are too. Oh, that's 10. Almost there. Great job. Okay, side crunches. Now let's review our scriptures. I don't know if I missed any. I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Oh, okay, here we go. Reach it up. Up. I hope you're feeling a difference in your tummy area. Make sure you take a picture of yourself. Like a before and after. I took some of me and they were not pretty. I did not like the way I look. So I'm hoping June 30th, whew, my stomach will be nice and flat. I'm back to where I like it to be. All our work is gonna pay off. It's in the process. Whew. You just need to show up no matter how you feel. And keep doing it each and every day. Don't talk yourself out of working out. You know you always feel much better every time you do it. Okay, let's do our scriptures again. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Romans 3.23 All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice job. We have 100 more to go, and that's it. We're on the home stretch. Let me write here 100. I can do it. Remember Philippians 4.13 I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, we have Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Whew. All right, Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Last one, Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And it's just so obvious that there was a creator. <sighs> Hold. Two, three, four, five. Nice job. Okay, we have 50 more to go. And I think um, what we're going to do is we're going to do bicycles. That always seems to really work us out. Okay? All right. I'm going to do them slow today, though. Be intentional. Point those toes. And now flex those feet out. And lead with your heel. And push your heel forward. And twist. Even your head. Look. 
Look to the side. And look at that nice strong twist. That's 20. Keep going. 30 more. You're all done. There's 18 completed. You can do it. Breathe. I know it hurts. I know it's painful. But just like the old saying, no pain, no gain. <laughs> that is so true. We're doing it. We're almost there. We're going to do the countdown. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plus, off. Woohoo! Congratulations! You finished and completed day 18 of Be Fit for Christ. Tell me testimony. I hope you join me tomorrow. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Peace which surpasses all understanding. Shalom.